This video is brought to you by eToro. Now you may have seen that eToro sponsor a number of Premier League clubs. Now if you don't have time to invest, you can use eToro's copy trader feature, copy top performing investors, so when they make a trade, you make the same trade automatically at no additional cost. Then click the link in the description and get on it right now. AFTV Stricto, it's good to have you in. Listen, 1-1 one, one at the Emirates draw against Southampton. And another red card, man. Oh, talk to me, bro. What, what, what do you take from today's game? Are you happy with the draw? Um, I'm still, no, uh, still, I'm still there. Trying to, I'm still trying to figure out uh, why we keep starting so poor every game. In the first half, like, the pressing... There was no pressing that were rubbish. Was rubbish with the ball and without it, to be honest. Um, mm. And then you get to the second half. Obviously, Oba scores. Good goal. Good work from Saka. Mm -hmm. And you think, all right, cool. Let's try and push on. And just as we, just as we get in, get momentum. Again, a red card. Another player has let the team down. Has let the club down, has let the fans down. However, I must say, yeah, the ref was so eager to pull out that second yellow card. Not once did he give himself time to at least go and have a word with Gabriel and say, yo, like, I'm giving you one last chance. You can't, well, typically, you can't just go and give a man two yellow cards straight away. Like, I mean, yeah. I, you could have spoken yeah, I to him, like, yeah, we were saying. I, I didn't. I never considered that actually. That he didn't take time to think about it. But I, I think I didn't consider it because, it, uh, to me, it was a blatant second yellow. Just thought. It, it, I think Gabriel got way too tight, and once he rolled him, I was like, "Oh, that's it." But you, I, I hear what you're saying though. He didn't. He didn't. He, he moved. He did move fast with his cards, but yeah, he, he moved. He moved. He moved. He moved fast. And of course, obviously, Gabriel, like you're on a yellow in it, so you, essentially you can't give the referee a decision to make. But all mm -hmm. I'm saying is, like, I'm starting to see, like, a thing now where it's, like, certain teams or certain clubs, ref some referees are more lenient. You could have mm. just gone had a word with him. It wasn't it wasn't a rash tackle. It wasn't mm -hmm. nothing crazy. You could have just gone had a word with him. But equally, like, Gabriel, you know you're on a yellow, innit? So at least be smart with what you're doing. Do you, do, you put anything, sorry, so do you put anything down to the manager then in... In seeing that Gabriel was in a yellow card and he should have taken off with Louise earlier, or do you think, do you know what, that's it's on Gabriel for not being smart on being on the yellow card and going in for that? Um, I think nah, because obviously Gabriel's obviously the the central point of our defense. You're not gonna take him off. But like he took off um Sebeos. Yeah. He took off Sebeos. And mm -hmm. I think that was mainly because he was in a yellow and he Definitely. weren't trying to risk having nine men. But I think with some players you kind of just give them, like, all right, the benefit of the doubt, innit? Like, you're the main defender. And to be fair, it, it's, a, it's a schoolboy, innit? It's a schoolboy error. Yeah. But yeah. again, I still feel like the ref could have been a little bit more lenient. It didn't have to be, but it could have been. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, I'm, I I'm want to know from you now, like, obviously, 1-1, one, one, it's not a loss. Do you think it's going to kick us on and spur us on to go to get more points in the next game? Obviously, we have on Saturday. Or do you think... You might see the same of what you saw, I mean, against Burnley and the games um, prior to that. Well, listen, I'm an Arsenal fan, innit? Yeah. I just want us to win. I want us mm. to do well, to perform well, like, to play well. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, mm. hopefully that's the case, that we can go and push on and, yeah. and start and kick off the season. But what we've seen this season has been... Inconsistency, inconsistency has been consistent. Do you know yeah. what I mean? We beat United, we beat United, and then you'd think, all right, we'll push on from there. Like so yeah. many games, which we've won, and well, so many games. <laughs> well, how many games <laughs> have we won now? Do you know what I'm saying? But I mean, so many times yeah. in it, like we've had opportunities to build on something, and we 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 ultimately just just fuck it up. But. Mm. Arteta, this is your time, innit? Like, I'm still Arteta out. That doesn't... That I, was, doesn't... I, was, I was just about to ask you, are you still on... Are you still strong on Arteta out, yeah? 200, bro. I'm, I was more... I'm more Arteta out today than I was last week or a few days ago. I'm not... That, that's not changing. 
That's not yeah. changing because the football still shit. The football still shit. Like the, <laughs> you got to look at the facts here now. Like right now is about facts versus feelings. Yeah? yeah, and I'm dealing with facts only. I'm not dealing with feelings. Yeah, mm -hmm. if I'm saying Arteta in, it's purely based on feelings because the facts aren't adding up. Mm. The facts aren't adding up. He was this yeah. close to making it five home defeats. Yeah. Which I don't think's ever yeah. been done. Which has um, never been done by the club. That would have been his record. Yeah, he was this close. Yeah, it yeah. didn't happen, thank God. Yeah. But mm. it nearly happened. Like, there's the... The, 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 the confidence is shot. Like, it's, 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 it's so clear to see. Yeah. It's on the ground. Like, it's on the ground. Players are letting him down. Players are letting him down. So that's what? Pepe, Shaka, and Gabriel. Yeah. In the last three games. Like yeah. players aren't players aren't really trying to do things for him. I'm still Arteta out. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Like he would need he would need to go on a run of wins. Not on not a run of not losing. But a run of wins, straight wins. We need to even concede the idea or change my mind. <laughs> yeah, this I hear, this is strict. Do you understand Thank me? You. Yeah, no, I and hear we you. Need move, we need to move fast. We need to move fast. Mm. I can't mm. give the man time. Mm. I cannot give the man time to give time. Yeah, to give time, you need to you need something in exchange. For that time yeah, that we're giving him. Who would you bring in? Who would you bring in? Like if he if he was gone tomorrow, who would you want to see spill his spill his um or fill his shoes? Well, the man I wanted is the guy at Wolves, yeah. Yeah, and I think my logical reason behind that is I can't see that we're going to be spending great money in it. Like I keep yeah. saying, Nuno seems to be the one who does get a lot out of nothing. Mm. And you know that that kind of that's that's my reasoning. But ideally, if you look at all the managers out there, you've got Poch, uh, people shouting out Allegri. You know that, that those, those managers. But for me, bro, I'm more Arteta in out today than I was the other day, and that's and that's keeping it keeping it simple, you know, keeping it simple. 